Well, it is Friday, so that means that we do have a pet joining us on our set this morning. From the Midland Humane Coalition, Tara A. Cox is joining us now in our studio. This is our guest, Honey, this morning, and she's a little bit frightened right now. Yes, mm -hmm. she is super timid, and she's just had a lot of upheaval. Mm. So she needs a patient home, somebody who's ready to take her on and just be patient until she feels comfortable because that will take a little bit of time. Yeah. Well, this is a lot, too, to come in the studio with a bunch of the lights as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's nothing that, she, as you said, she can warm up to somebody eventually. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yes. Uh, the shelter environment doesn't really bring out the best, even the best shelters, you know, even right. that are where the animals are really well cared for. It's just a loud place, they're confined, you know, it's bright. Mm -hmm. So it does take some time once you get them into the home for them to just kind of realize this is their new home. So always right. patience is always a virtue in that situation. And we were talking a little bit before the interview, you said that this is actually a new pet in your facility right now, but she was found in a home where elderly people were living and they had to unfortunately go into assisted living, right. but there were a lot of cases like that out here. Yeah, that's super common. A lot of the animals that we get, that's the situation. So whenever you're adopting, take that into consideration because a pet is like a sometimes up to a 20 year commitment. I mean, small mm -hmm. dogs can live to be like 18 years old. So she's actually eligible for the senior to senior program. Oh, nice. And if you're a senior and you want a companion pet, it might be better to get an older pet. Mm -hmm. That way you don't really have to worry as much about a situation coming up like that because you never know what's going to happen in the future. So, And she is very calm too, so it's not yeah. like some, some animals, some dogs kind of get nervous and they get kind of snappy, but she's not like that at all. She's right. just kind of like trying to take it in and yeah. snuggling you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's just really confused about what's going on, I'm sure, and like I said, she's really new to us. So she's just kind of shaking and she does have kind of a nervous bladder too. Aww. So if uh, that's something that you don't think you could deal with, then think about that too. So uh, we do have other dogs and cats if you want someone kind of higher energy or lower maintenance, mm -hmm. we can always fit you with a pet that will fit in well with your home. So, And that's what I love about the Midland Humane Coalition. You know I'm a big fan because yeah. I adopted my cat there and that's yeah. exactly what Cheryl did mm -hmm. there at the adoption center. She matched our personalities perfectly. So yeah. it's very cool. And you have events as well. Yes, tomorrow we have a 5K and pet parade. Mm -hmm. Overwhelmingly, people have been telling us they want more pet friendly events. So we're doing another 5K. Usually we do one in June. We're adding another in October. That'll happen at the Bush Tennis Center and if you want to find out more about that you can go to MidlandHumane.org. And it's so cute because all the animals do get dressed up and it's a lot of fun to see people walking around. Plus the one in June, it's pretty well known out here but temperatures are starting to drop and so it'll be more enjoyable for people who want to take their dogs out, run around. Exactly. But also just a great event to raise awareness about the Humane Coalition and everything you guys need out there as well. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, and you don't, if you're not a runner, that's okay. You're still welcome to bring your pet and dress them up or even just to come look at the pets that are dressed up and just have a good time. So Awesome. We'll check out that information on your screen at MidlandHumane.org for more, and we'll have more news and weather when we return.